Hello and welcome to this quick video. Now I haven't done one of these for a while. This is about setting up OpenTX or I guess EdgeTX mixes. This one is for this gentleman here. This is a gentleman called Robert and he wants to adjust the sensitivity of the steering in relation to the throttle. Now this could be very useful for something like a car where it's traveling at high speed. A very small movement of the steering is going to give quite a violent reaction. So this one, Robert, is for you. Now I'm testing it here on OpenTX, but I'll take you through the process and you can try it on HTX and let me know how you get on. Now, the trick with this, of course, is that it has to do with the throttle and the steering channel. Now I've assumed that the steering channel for our purposes here is going to be the aileron channel. So we need to mix the throttle and the aileron together in a way that as the throttle increases, the travel of the aileron gets less. So there's a couple of ways that we can do that. If you can think of another way, do pop it in the description and comments down below, because this is the way that I did it. And there's a very specific reason that I have. Let me simulate it and let me just tab across so you can see the actual channel. So that's your throttle. There's throttle on channel three and the aileron is the steering channel. There it is doing all the steering stuff. I just lock that. So say, for example, we're doing a hard left turn. As I increase the throttle, look at what's happening to channel four. It goes to almost nothing. So when I'm at maximum throttle, I get very little steering. However, as soon as I drop the throttle, I get an awful lot more. So how am I doing that? Well, I'm doing it by, surprise, surprise, at mixing in a little bit of the throttle into the aileron, but I'm doing some funky stuff here. If I open it up here, what I'm actually doing is I am mixing in a little bit of the throttle, but that throttle is modified by a curve. I'll show you that and talk about that in a moment. And it's set to multiply. And that allows us to, rather than have to worry about positive and negative values, we can kind of get around all that. So let's just have a look at what this curve looks like. This is the curve. So that's at zero throttle, and that's at 100% throttle. And you can see here that it changes quite drastically. Now, the reason I like this is it does allow you to fine tune how much movement that you have, because it might be that Actually, you know what, right down here, you really want an awful lot of movement and then you want, it probably might, might look like that. So that's more of what you need. So rather than have a straight line, you can tweak it for the particular kind of tires, terrain or whatever that you're running. So if we just simulate that again, as I move the throttle up, you should see the aileron uh, reduce by very little to about 50% throttle and then drop away quite drastically, but in a pretty linear line. So let's simulate that. So let's page across again so we can see the channels. There's the throttle again. So let's lock the aileron. So there we go. We're turning hard up to about half when we still have pretty much all the throttle, all the steering at about 50% throttle. We've still got 88% and that's because we haven't taken much off here. And from here on in, we should see it drop quite drastically. There we go, down to almost nothing. Again, we can actually, if we get rid of that, if that we need a little bit more steering at high end, we could maybe tweak it so it looked like that. And then this time when we simulate it, again, page across. Let's do a hard turn and accelerate. This time, it doesn't go down anywhere near as much. Now, there are definitely going to be at least two or three different ways to do this. This is the power of Open and Edge TX, but this is the way I like, specifically because it does allow you to tweak the curve depending on the kind of car or truck or whatever it is that you're running, the tires, uh, the grip, and the surface that you are uh, playing with. So that's how I would do it. The way I would do it is create the curve like this. So uh, treat the middle position here, so that's kind of zero steering, that's 100% steering. Go into your outputs, um, into your mixes even, and then add another line below whichever channel is your steering and set it up like this. Source is throttle, so that there's no messing about with other curves that may be applied to your throttle. 
add a curve, which is the curve that we have just created, that one that we've just been looking at, set the multiplex to multiply, and then that should work. Robert, hopefully that helps. Uh, let me know if that makes any difference for you. Thank you for spending your time today watching that video. You can find me in all the usual places on social media. And if you're trying to learn about a subject, then check out the playlist. All of my videos are organized into easy to follow playlists that if you're trying to learn a topic, will take you from the basics right the way through to some pretty advanced stuff.